You just made the list! You just made the list! You just made the list! Four, 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 one. What is going on, Brotherhood? Welcome to a brand new figure review. Today we have the Elite Series 53, Chris Jericho. Really, really nice looking figure. As you can see here, standard Mattel packaging. I did decide to pick this one up rather than the ringside exclusive because I do not feel like paying ringside shipping. Walkoutwear.com is where I got this. Way cheaper than ringside. Their link will be in the description. They got Elite Series 53, Battle Packs 48, Basic 77, now in stock, and if you use the discount code UNDISPUTED, you will save 22% at checkout. That is pretty much retail price for brand new figures, free US shipping, and in low international rates. Where can you go wrong? Walk out where is the place to go. So we are going to be getting this figure out of the packaging in a, in a very quick moment. But as always, I'll take a look at it just for my mock collectors who can appreciate this. I know I can. So if you want to pause right there, there's a bit of a bio on the back, some basic information about Jericho, one of my fellow Canadians. And as you can see, here are the other people available in the set. This is a really strong elite set, and I definitely do plan on getting probably the whole rest of the set at some point. But Jericho was the top priority for me, since I did want a newer elite one. He is a main person on my pick fed, so it is very much needed. So let's get this figure out of the packaging. As you can see, here is the Elite Series 53, Chris Jericho out of the packaging. Looking pretty awesome, very nice figure if I do say so myself. First of all, we got this diorama display. It's uh, the interviewing setup. I'm still not a big fan of these things to be honest, but you know what, I'll take the extra accessory. Anyways, that is Chris Jericho right there. We'll start off with accessories. He does have this abnormally large pen that I know some people were saying looks like something else, but we're gonna keep things PG here. So he does have that pen. We have the list of Jericho. It says the list of Jericho on the back. Nothing really on the front. There's a bit of a clipping here, but you can't like open it and actually put paper on there at all. And uh, the material is kind of like a sort of a rubber. It's uh, very bendable. And then Jericho does have the scarf of Jericho on his neck. I'm just gonna take this thing off right now. His hair does sometimes get in the way a little bit, especially when you're trying to do it with one hand. <laughs> there we go. The scarf of Jericho, it's looped around and then, you know, it's pretty cool. Way better than the Del Rio one that a lot of people have been using. Now this is pretty much the same attire as this basic right here. I'll get a zoom in here. And the only real difference I notice is that is it a much darker gray and uh, the fonts are sort of different colors a little bit. So there are some differences. I'm not sure which one's more accurate or if one of them's not. But one of the biggest gripes against the Elite 53 Jericho is that why don't you just buy the ringside exclusive? It's got that head, which makes it better. Well, Walkout did send us this basic not too long ago. So we're actually going to be swapping this head onto there later in the video. And one of the other gripes is the fact that he can't hold the pen and the list at the same time, which really sucks. Uh, so you kind of got to pick and choose whether you want to have his Fozzie tattoo or have him be able to hold the vest, or not the vest, the uh, list of Jericho. I'm honestly probably going to sacrifice the Fozzie tattoo and I'm probably going to swap on this basic arm as well, but we will do that later in this video. So let's take a look at Jericho here. This is the head scan here. We've seen this one on a lot of his figures, mostly basics and the Lost Legends Elite. He does have the Fozzy tattoo, as previously mentioned, right there on his hand. Doesn't have any of his other tattoos since they are trademarked. It says Jericho right on the front there. Sorry about heel camera not wanting to focus. It says greatest of all time or goat on the back. Pretty awesome. Jericho on both kick pads. Some designs there. Small knee pads. Thank you, Mattel. They didn't do that on the basic. I had to swap them on. But that's pretty much this Jericho figure. So what do you say we do a very quick fix up, swap the, that arm and swap that head. I'll be right back guys. All right guys, as you can see here is the fix up Chris Jericho. Just decided to swap the head for today. The pegs kind of felt really loose on this figure and I really didn't want to break one and ruin this elite Jericho that I just got. So I did decide to just keep it with the head swap. 
it's nice to have the Fozzie tattoo, I guess. So I'm really happy with this Jericho. Overall, I'm gonna give it probably a six out of 10, honestly. I would have liked to have gotten a new attire that we didn't just get in basic form, as well as the hand articulation was a poor choice and the head scan is not the best. Really not a big fan of this sort of laughing head scan of Jericho's. I think this one, newer one, is a lot better. It would have been cool if we got maybe a mix between the two of a smiling one with the beard. I think that would have really worked. But I'm really happy with this Jericho. You guys will be seeing this a lot in the future on my channel. That is pretty much going to do it for this review. Head on over to Walkout Wear. Discount code Undisputed saves 22% if you want to buy this or any other figures from Elite Series 53. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Burn it down!